food is ready. Dora? Of course, man. Hurry up so you don't get it. Oh, not again. What? This used to be your favorite when you were smaller. No, I know better. Got in yesterday. We should be having dinner later this evening. Ah, thank God. Ouch. Really? Also. Why? You also don't like my driving, right? No. Mm -hmm. I heard you say you were having a meeting, so I don't want you to be late. Okay. Well, that's fine. I'm not complaining. I know you're not complaining. But you know I'm still using the bus, right? Well, if you're going to be using the bus, then you need to hurry up so you don't be late. Sweetie, take care, okay? Kisses. Bye. She just heard me saying I'm going to work now. She's being considerate. How nice. Dora! Wow. Dora, you... she looks like but like dad says I have her eyes she died when I was just a year old so we never met when I tried asking why why we don't have pictures of her lying about dad got so sad that it hurt I could see the pain in his eyes I know he really loves her he says she died in an accident just that. We don't talk about her, but I miss her. I'm pretty sure that if she would have been alive, we would have been best of friends. She would have made something other than toast and scrambled eggs in the morning. But don't get me wrong, my dad makes the best toast and eggs in the world. But a little bit of change won't hurt. Come in. Hey. I forgot your homework. Thank you. I, I think I forgot to send it. I was looking for it in school today. Ah, oh, it's my pen. It was about mom, right? I saw. Dead. Look, I know you're going through a lot because I don't talk about her that much. I understand, Dad. I understand that you hurt whenever we talk about her. Well, at least, can I just know something about her? Like her favorite color, her favorite food, her face. Whether she was a good mother. Her things got destroyed when we moved, so 
There isn't much to show. Can you at least, like, tell me how her face was? Well, she was pretty, that's for sure. And your eyes remind me so much about hers. <laughs> really? Mm-hmm. Can we visit her grief time sometimes? Well, see, um, maybe not now, okay? Maybe sometime later when you're older. Okay? It's cruel she died in an accident. I know. Anyway, go wash your hands. And teach him we made food so you can come downstairs and join us. Okay? See ya. That's fine. Don't forget to clean up when you're done. No, 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 you're not. Yes. I you're am. not sleeping here. Yes, I am. Off to your room. No, I want you to tell me a bedtime story. Kiddo, I'm not telling you a bedtime story. Daddy's tired. <laughs> so it's time for you to go off to your room. Okay. Which I tell you? I'm not reading you any bedtime yes. stories. No! So what? Off, yes. off to your room. No! Off to your room. <laughs> Last night, did it I? It's your fault! It's my fault? Yes, it is! Ah, you can't believe yourself, young lady. Now, to the door, okay? Let's go! Let's go! <laughs> like someone enjoyed at night? <sighs> yes, mom. The bed was so soft, I slept like a baby. <laughs> That's good. What's, what's that? Are you already looking for a new job? Yes, darling. I am. Uh, 
Can I help? I can help with tables at the restaurant and some extra cash. Well, I know I'm smart and I know I can do it. No, darling. It hasn't gotten to that, okay? And besides, I've got a plan. Really, Mom? Yeah. Okay, <laughs> tell me. I'll tell you, but not now, okay? And I also need your help. Okay, I'm always available. And in the meantime, I also have to check around for schools that provide standard education for you. <laughs> Thanks, How about Mom. that? Thanks, Mom. Come here. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, what's for breakfast? What would you like to eat? I'm going to do now. Uh -huh. I'm going to go up to that fresh look. I'm right, coming. Then. Careful! Who <laughs> is a step? I've never seen her this happy in a long time. I'm alright. Hi, baby. How was work? Work was good. Work was fine. Oh, wow. What are you doing? You. <laughs> now I feel better. Careful. Mm -hmm. Don't have somebody back, okay? Yes, at least she finally comes downstairs and she sees that daddy is in love. Mm. Mm. <laughs> What? Who made this? No way! <laughs> yes, way! <man. laughs> <laughs> what? Okay. I already mm. told you I'm already a better cook than you. So now you have to eat everything I make. You don't say, huh? <laughs> <laughs> mm. But actually, how was it? This is really nice. Okay. Mm. Mm. Slow down for Slow down. <laughs> <laughs> You did well, Dora. At least I taught you well. <laughs> wow. I can't believe it. Myself. Wow. <laughs> you like it? 
Yes, I love it. I knew you love them. I I bought this because it's your favorite color. Oh, thank you so much. You're welcome. <laughs> and I got this one on my trip back. It's so cool traveling everywhere. All right. And thank you for teaching me how to cook, oh, darling. It was fun and interesting. Time, <laughs> darling. You know I love you, right? Yes, I do. So you try this one on for me, okay? Let, let me try it on right now. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm so, I'm so sorry. No problem. Hi, I, I'm Michelle, and I just started here. <laughs> Hi, I'm Dora. Nice to meet you. <laughs> nice to meet you too. You're in my class, right? Yes. <laughs> and you're one of the smartest girls in class. <laughs> oh, please don't flatter me. Well, I'm not. Why are you still in school? Oh, I've been trying to reach my dad, but he's not picking any of his calls. Hey girl, I've been waiting for you, so let's go. Oh, I'm so sorry, Mom. Good evening. I made a new friend, and her dad is here to pick her up. Can we drop her off? Please? Um, okay, that is if her dad won't be offended. Yes, I've been trying to reach my dad, but he's not picking up any of my calls. Mm -hmm. Um, okay, um, where do you live? Um, I live in F number 12. <sighs> That's our way home, yes. too. Come on, girl, let's go. Pleasure is mine. Don't mention, okay? I really do like you actually, and I like your friendship with my daughter. So, why don't you girls do something for fun? Maybe like sleepovers, you can come to our place, or she goes to your house, or study together, do something. Really, mom? Of course. Oh, that would be so lovely. Thank you, mom. You're welcome. Thank my regards to you. your parents. Yeah. Thank you. Bye. Bye. think about her? Who? Dora? Yeah. Well, she seems nice and all the teachers love and praise her. Really? Yes. Hmm. That's nice. It's nice to know that she's lovable, meaning her dad raised her well. Oh yes, speaking of her father, I will convince her to tell her father to let us hang out on weekends at her place to study and sleep over some time. You know you, you are really a smart girl and I'm so proud of you. Of course I am. I envision a bright future for us. Yes. That's my girl. Hey, sweetie. 
really sorry I stood you up today. I mean, I had an ASAP meeting when I came and I really needed to dash out for it. If I knew that the meeting was coming earlier, I would have asked you to use the school bus, so I'm really sorry, okay? It's okay. I made a new friend today. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. Her and her mom just moved into town. That's nice. You know, I was really jealous of them. Because I was thinking, if my mom was alive, I would have been best of friends with her. Just like Michelle and her mom. Hey. You know you have me, right? Of course. Am I two in one? Can I ride with them sometimes? Are you already tired of your old man taking <laughs> you to school? You're not old. Okay, Miss Esther offered to drop me home since they passed through here. So why don't you come back from work? Then I can just hitch a ride with them. It's a win-win situation. But I love picking you up from school. Oh, come on, it's not as if she's adopting me. And plus, we can still hang out when you come back from work, right? From the looks of things, I don't think I'm winning this argument anytime soon, am I? No, you aren't, so just give it up already. Okay, okay, that's fine. <laughs> Let me think about it, okay? So it doesn't look like you're imposing yourself on them. Fair enough. <laughs> I can't wait for Auntie Chiwi to come back home. You said you wanted to try something different. What's okay? What's wrong with the food? Is it's it okay. salty? <laughs> Don't worry, I'll give you a tip on this one. is quite beautiful. Thank you. Good afternoon, sir. Oh, hello. Dad, this is Michelle and Michelle, this is Dad. Pleasure to meet you, young lady. Thank you, sir. Where's your mom? Is she outside? No, sir. She said she's sorry she couldn't make a proper introduction. It's just she says she had an emergency at work, but she'll see you this evening when she comes to pick me up. All right, that's fine. I'll leave your girls to do your thing. Okay. okay. Wow, your dad is quite young and handsome. <laughs> oh, please don't let him catch you say that because he's going to brag you all his life. <laughs> Come on, Mister Experiment, and remember when you study. Yeah, very really. nice. So, who are you this one? When it's not the chef. Huh? When it's the chef. Now, see, Brian is a really strict teacher. I know this guy's. But she has a soft spot for, you know, brilliant and intelligent students. Yeah, no one that she's friends with you. <laughs> oh, please. Come in. Oh. Great time. <laughs> Sure. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. I'll leave this here. Thank you, sir. Do you guys need any help? No. Thank you. Okay, so I'll leave you to it then. Um, Michelle, please extend my apologies to your mom. We'll not be able to make it for dinner this evening. Oh, okay. I'll, I'll tell her. All right. Something came up and I have to leave. Yeah, just the pillow. <laughs> okay, as I was saying, do you know the No. Okay, this is Um. 
It's a pity I couldn't meet you, Dad. But please, help me thank him for me, please. I will. Thank you so much, Dora. I had so much fun. Well, maybe you can visit me next time. <laughs> I will. <laughs> okay, we have to go. Thank you. All right, then. Thank you for yourself. Bye bye. 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 Let's go. He was really nice, her dad. He always was. And they, they share a beautiful bond. I was a bit envious. You know, I didn't like the fact that you invited her over. I really wanted you to spend more time with them. But he really wanted to meet you. Typical. He always loves to act responsible. Well, I'm sorry. My schedule is tight at the office. But you don't have a job. No one will know if we don't tell them. So. actually a flight attendant so she travels around the world which oh. is really really cool that's nice but she's planning on when she gets married to that she'll start up her own business married <laughs> yeah that's the plan that's that's nice i mean you already have a cool dad and now you're getting an even cooler mom <laughs> thank you darling dora your friend is so smart now i know why you love her you know, the wedding is in five months, and I was thinking it would be cool for you and your mom to attend the bridal shop, bridal a bridal <laughs> training. Oh, that would be really nice. It's a really good idea. You know, I haven't been part of one before, but I have to ask my mom. I'm sure she will say yes. <laughs> oh, sweet. Well, you'll be part of one soon. Okay, who's ready for my food? Yes. I hope your belly is empty to eat. Yes. yes. Alright, darling. Has to get a friend. Yep. Coming through, coming through. Smoking hot jello first. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Jello first is the best for I can <laughs> see that. You, you guys see, right? Mm. Okay, let me have a bit then. Do you want much? No, you want much. You yes, want I want much. Okay. How did I miss such information? She says it's in five months and she wants me to be among her dreams. <laughs> Don't bother. It won't hold. Hmm. <laughs> okay. What? What is it? You're so excited to be part of the wedding that you've forgotten our plan? No, no, it's just... Well... Dora was really excited about it. And, and you don't want to ruin it. <laughs> My darling. 
Just imagine what's going to happen when Dora gets to know that you know who you claim to be. She will hit you. And then there will be no wedding. And you'll say goodbye to your friendship. And you know I'm all you've got. Hmm? So, stick to the script. Hmm? I trust you, my darling. I know you can do it. My baby. <laughs> I guess I have to move my plans forward. Heavenly, 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 stop. How's studying going? Yeah, it's mm -hmm. great. Okay, so I just came to call you guys for lunch if you have time. Oh, we do. Oh, we do. Uh, you, you look hungry. Come, come, come. Hey! Hurry, 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 hurry. Alright, let's go. Let's go. Okay, let's see if that's okay. Two people, what's the Esther, my biological mom. So it's true. Dora, please calm down. Can we at least sit down and talk about this? Why? Before you didn't want to talk about it. How could you, Dad? How could you lie to me about her? Telling me she's dead while well, she's not. You know what? I hate you. Dora, sweetie. 
Could you open the door? Dora. Sweetie, look. I had my reasons for lying to you. I know this is not an excuse, but... Can you at least please open the door so we can talk? Go away! Go tell someone that will believe you your lies. Breakfast is ready. Dora. Dora. Dora, can't you hear me calling you? Dora. It's now you know you have a daughter. <laughs> Tell me. What type of mother forgets that she has a daughter? Where were you? Dora. I know I'm undeserving. <gasps> but trust me, I looked for you and your father. Please, just give me the chance to explain everything to you. So you knew about this too, right? No, no, I didn't. I found out the same day you did. Mom only told me about how bad her first marriage was. I didn't know it was your dad. You know, who would have thought my two angels would, would meet someday and born like this? After I thought that you were dead. What do you mean by that? Dora. Dora, your dad was a very violent man. Yes. He would always beat me every day. So one day he hit me so hard that you were crying. He got angry and even he had to beat you too. Oh, yes. I tried to stop him and then he hit me and next thing I found myself at the hospital. And then he has he, he left with you. I searched everywhere for you. God knows this. I'm not lying. I don't believe you. My dad wouldn't do anything like that. Dora. Of course he's your dad. He loves you, but he wasn't nice to me. Fine, why would I lie to you, my child? Why? I have no reason to lie to you. So, so she's my sister. No, yes, yes, she's your half-sister. She's my child. So why didn't you tell her about me? I'm sorry. No, I was trying to protect her. I didn't want her to know that such evil exists in this world. I don't believe you. 
My father is a very nice guy. He wouldn't do such. Dora, my daughter, you have to believe me. Trust me, I'm not lying to you. Okay, fine. Have you even thought about why he lied to you about me? Have you thought about it? And only God knows everything he must have told you about me. Trust me, I'm your mother. I will never, ever lie to you. I love you. I already went to your school and I didn't find you there. Where have you been? I went to see my mother. You know, the one you lied that died in an accident. Look, I understand that you're hurting. And I'm sorry because I caused it. But remember that I'm your father. And I'm worried about your whereabouts. I don't want to see you near that woman again. I'm not a child. I'm 15 years old. And you cannot hide me from her anymore. I am not hiding you from her. I'm trying to protect you from her. Protect me from exactly what? Your selfishness and lies? You do not use that tone on me, young woman. I am your father! And I wish you weren't. How oh, I miss that smile of yours. I would always look at your picture back then and cry myself to sleep. Hey, look at this one. You look like an angel there. And you also look so much like your grandma, your daddy's mother. I can't believe my dad lied to me all these years. Ah, my baby. I'm sure he has his reasons. But at least you turned out fine. Um. Let me go make something nice for you to eat. No, no, no. I have to go. I don't want to bother you. No! Don't say that. You can't be a bother to me. Never. You don't know how happy I am to have you here. You know what? You sit with your sister while I make something for you to eat, please. No, but my dad... Your dad? Calm down. Listen. I have the resources to fight him now. I'm no longer scared. No one would take my child away from me the second time. Oh, come here, I love you so much, my baby. My baby, I love you. I love you too. So just sit with your sister while I make something for you to eat. Okay. Alright. I'll be back, girls. Why didn't you tell me to do this Look, I didn't tell you because I didn't want to disturb you. This is all serious. I mean, you should have listened to me when I told you you should tell her the truth in the first place. Babe, please, can we not play the blame game? This has already happened. How would I have known that she'd move back? Or that we'd even meet? Babe. The world is a small place. Look, I also just found out that she left school with her. Can you imagine that? Look, I'm going to get no, her. No, 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 babe. You can't do that, okay? But I have to. You can't. She'll think you hate her and you don't want her to meet her mom. Don't do that, please. 
You know what? Let's all calm down, okay? Let's just calm down. This whole thing is driving me insane. Don't worry, babe. Don't worry. I'll talk to her for you, okay? But in the meantime, I don't want it looking as if you're fighting with your ex-wife. Hmm? You lose. Whatever this is, I just want my daughter back. You know what I don't understand? I mean, is this really a coincidence? Don't you think it's too much to be that? It's okay, okay? Come on. Hmm? Calm down. <laughs> I guess. Looks like everyone's joke is indeed a reality. What do you think about everything? I don't know. But I guess it affects you more than it affects me. I can't believe you were so cruel. And I thought my father was a good man. <laughs> Yeah, well, we're just kids, so what do we know? Hey, kids. So, this ready? So, how about you, Ah, the first time you're tasting my food so I hope you like it of course you're my mom I love you I love you too Baby, I... I've been thinking. Please. You don't have to hate your father. I know he... He hurts me. <coughs> I'm sorry. I know. I know your dad hurts me, but he loves you. So please, you don't have to hate him, okay? You know, all these years I thought I hated him so much. Until the day I saw him standing here. My heart skipped. A bit. That's when I realized that my feelings weren't gone after all. Are you serious? Yes. Yes, my love. Yes. Please, love. I hope you like it. Look at you, you're so beautiful. Okay, I'll be in the kitchen.
What plan do you have coming here? Of course. To see my child. Do I need any plan to see my daughter? Your daughter? Mm -hmm. The same one you left and never looked back? The same one you didn't ask for after all these years? I'll ask you again. What plans do you have coming back here? <sighs> so, Chuko. You know you were a useless man then and you're still a useless man. What can you do? If not to go down on your knees and beg the way you did 14 years ago, you spineless weakling. You know what? You can't bribe me not to see my child. Are you serious? Yes. Um, Tuchugu, all I want is to get close to my daughter. And I have every right to be close to her. Esther, stop being dramatic. Ah, <sighs> Tuchugu. Is that what you have to say? You still haven't changed. I'm just here to see my child. Have a nice day. He said you discarded all her pictures because of the pain. Just another lie, right? <clears throat> Dora, I'm sorry. Does Auntie Chiwi even know the type of man you are? What does that mean? You know, maltreating your wife, my mother, restricting her from even seeing me. I bet she won't even agree to marry you again. First of all, you do not talk to me in that kind of tone because I'm your father. And secondly, Auntie Chinwe knows the real story. Oh, really? Yes, she does. And where did you get the story from that I maltreated her? She left on her own. Oh, I see. So you didn't tell me. Your own daughter. But I told another person. Dora, you were so little. I couldn't tell you. I wanted to protect you. So you chose to lie to me? Yes. I lied to protect my child. So, when I grew up, why didn't you tell me? There's something that you will never understand. A father's love for his only child. I couldn't stand to see you hurt all over again. She got up and left. And she didn't look back to any of this. I couldn't bear to see you hurt all over again. So you decided to lie to me over and over again. Look, baby, I'm sorry. Yes, I truly am sorry. Daddy's sorry for all this. I wish I knew better. I'm going to go stay with my mom. Your mom? You're picking her over me. A woman you barely even know. Yes. 
Unlike you, she doesn't lie to me. I'm not letting you go. And you can't stop me. If she sues for custody, I will pick her over you. It's Chin Wei. Come in. Hey. How are you? Your dad told me what's going on. Of course he told you, then he would lie to me. Dora. He wanted to tell you the truth, but he was afraid it would hurt you. Okay. Why don't you at least talk to him? At least listen to what he has to say. And hear more lies? I don't want to listen to anything. Tara, just talk to him first. He's hurting and he loves you so much. All he's done for you over the years is because he loves you. Why are you acting like this? You don't tell me how to act. You're not my mother. intend to take her place. But I have loved you and cared for you since the day I met your father. And I would like to believe that we've grown to be friends. Your father has loved you all your life. Dora, do not take the words of another woman you just met over his What are you even doing? Why are you harassing us? Why? Why are you so insensitive? Why are you saying I'm harassing you because I want to spend time with my daughter? Why are you saying all this because I want us to be family again? Tochuko, this is not fair. What's the meaning of all this? You left, remember? You left! This is so unrealistic. Where is Dora? Children, Dora, so we're sorry. leaving right this minute. No, this is home. This is home? Why are you being stubborn? I'm not being stubborn. As mom said, we can all become a happy family. What are you saying? We're already a happy family. Me, you and Auntie Chinwe. That Chinwe is not my mom. She's my mom. <laughs> so she has successfully brainwashed you, right? She hasn't done any of that. I love staying here. I love spending time with Michelle. And I hate being an only child. It's tiring. 
Dora, you're leaving with me right this instant. No! If you refuse me one more time, I'm going to get a court order and you will never see her again. No, you can't. And if you will, I'll never talk to you again. My baby, my angel, please, don't say that, okay? You have to go with him. He's your father. Please, I beg you. But he won't let you see me again. Please, I'll... I'll find a way, please. Please, just, just go with him. My baby. Fine. But on one condition only. My sister has to come with me. I'll do no such thing. She will live here with her mother. I'm not living here without her. My baby. <laughs> Those are the conditions that Dora gave so that she could return back home. Babe. What if it's an excuse for your ex-wife to come back here? Come on. You know she wouldn't try that. What if she sent her here to spy on us? I am. Shred is a really nice girl. You can't say that. You can't be so sure. I know. But the only person who is a devil here is Esther. And I will not let her into this house. No matter what. Baby, I don't like this. I don't like this at all. I have a bad feeling about this. I know something bad will happen. I don't like this. I don't. Listen, you have to find a way to convince Dora so you can go home with her. I don't want to tell her anything so that she doesn't suspect. Okay, so what do I tell her? I don't know. If I can tell her you're missing her, just give her a nice excuse. Okay? Listen. You have to be my eyes and ears in that house. You have to tell me everything going on in that house. Am I clear? Okay, but what if I get caught? Then you have to be very careful. So you don't ruin things for me. I mean, us. Good girl. Come here, my angel. I was never a threat to you. Please. Sit. You know, so true. I'm also tired of fighting. At least for the sake of our daughter. <sighs> I'll make this simple. Tell me what you want so you can leave us alone. 
Don't insult me. I love Dora. As much as you do. Hmm? Then why did you leave her? Why did you leave us? Even after I asked you to and beg you to stay, you didn't. I was young and stupid. Well, it's too late now. So Chuko, come on. You loved me once. So why can't you love me now? So we can build our home again. You, I, our daughter. Ah, uh, I mean, our daughters. Esther, I knew you were up to something. And you've really not changed. Always vile and cunning. And so manipulative. But look, let me tell you something. I am in love with someone else now. Okay? And I don't love you. I miss you. I miss you so much and I'm sorry. I'm sorry for everything. I know I'm not perfect, but I'm willing to try for the sake of our child. At least for the love we once shared, please. Please, I'm so sorry. Esther, you say you miss me and yet, you ran away with someone else and got married to him and had a daughter for him while I stayed back and waited for you. Do you know exactly how that made me feel? Look, Esther, you're not in love with anyone. The only person you love in this scenario is yourself. I don't know what you're trying to play, but you better stop this right now. Dora is happy living with me. Really? So, that is why you told I died in an auto crash. That was so mean to say to my child. Don't you think that was a better excuse than to tell her the truth? And I wish you stayed dead. Don't you go don't, 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 please. Please, don't do this to me. Picking up. Oh, look, I'm really so sorry, but. Are you okay, babe? Where are you coming from? Yeah, I'm just tired. Can I take a shower first? All right, we'll um, I'll later. just make food. I asked you a question. Where are you coming from? <sighs> okay. I went to see Esther. I really needed to talk to her to leave us alone. I mean, the whole thing is overwhelming me. And did you? Or you were too busy doing something else instead of talking? What are you talking about? So, Chico, I will stand by you. I will fight for you. But the last thing I will do is stand here and be disrespected by you. I mean, if you're going to use your daughter as an excuse to link up with your ex-wife, then count me out of it, okay? But for God's sakes, you should be proud enough to own up to your actions. I have no idea about what you're talking about. What are you talking about? I'm going home. I can't stand here and stand in the middle of anything that's going on between you and daughter. Oh, come on. Chinwe. Jim. 
What do you think the problem is? I don't know. I've never really seen or heard them like that. Really? Yes. Then what would be the problem with this thing? Bruno. But as Chiri, she looked so heartbroken. Why? Remember that's the box telling your bones? Yeah. Mm -hmm. so, I know I can see it through your eyes. The heart reflected in your smile. Dad, we want to talk to you. Okay. Sit down. <coughs> Dad, we have talked about it. I think we should do what's best for our family. And what would that be? Daddy, I know you love Aunt Chiri so much. And I love her too. I mean, she's a really nice person and she has been really helpful. But what we are asking is for you to call off the wedding. So we can work on our family. What do you mean by that? Our mom still loves you. I was talking to my daughter. What we are asking is for us to grow our family together. Auntie Chinwe loves you. She has always been there for you. And she cares so much about you. Are you going to throw her away just like that? Dad, I'm just looking for a solution here. That woman is poisoning your mind. Can't you see that? That woman is my mother. And at least she's only putting an effort to see me. The only effort she's making is to ruin us. I'll advise you not to listen to anything she tells you. She'll sell you out with the slightest chance she gets. Just like how she sold our marriage years ago and ran away with another man. You never listen to me. What's the point? We shall come next week.
Hello? Babe. I never knew. I mean, she suddenly hugged me when I was leaving. I knew that she's always been crazy. I knew she was up to no good. Which is the more reason you need to be very careful with her. She really hasn't changed. How do I keep my daughter away from her? We'll find a way, okay? We'll make her see her for who she truly is. Don't worry about it. What are you doing? Nothing, nothing. It's just I was hungry, so I came to take food. It's fine. Just go and set the table. I'll bring out the dishes. Point of correction. My husband's house. He was my first. You left him. I went ahead to get married to someone else. And now you think you have the audacity to claim him. You know. You really don't know the kind of man you're dealing with. Or do you? I'm not Dora. And I don't believe anything you say. I know the truth about what happened between you both. Yes, everything. And I also know you have a hidden agenda by allowing your daughter to stay in our house. But guess what? It won't work. <laughs> Whatever. Listen. I'm back. I'm back to take what is mine. And I promise you, I won't lose. Do you know why? I have my daughter behind me. And soon, Tochuku will be under my fingertips. If I was you, you go pack your rags and leave that house before it's too late. In your wildest dream. Hmm. Okay? Dora might be happy meeting you and all. But trust me, when she realizes what an empty shell you are, she will pack everything that belongs to you from her life forever. And then, 
who know who laughs last. Get out of my house this minute. I fight for the ones I love. Your lipstick shenanigans didn't work. And nothing else will. Get out! Bitch! We'll see about that. to cause any troubles. Girl, talk! Mom just called. What happened? Is she sick? She's not sick. She was attacked. Attacked? Yes. Uh, call her, call her. I don't have credit. She could by herself. How am I supposed to go out? Do you ever have credit? Wait, let me, let me, let me try calling her. you. Dora, what are you talking about? Going to my mommy's house to go pick a fight? You have no right to do such. I did not go there to pick a fight. I only went to talk to her, that's all. That's true. I've respected you. But that does not mean you will do such. Don't you ever try it again. Dora, why would you speak to your auntie Chingwe in that tone? Have you lost it? Well, tell your fiancé that she should stop trying to spoil my family. And she should know her place. I went to your auntie's house. What? Well, I'm tired of having her destroy a house that was once peaceful. <sighs> Ever since she got here, it's been sad. It's been one problem to another. You shouldn't have gone there. You're playing right into our games. What do you mean by I shouldn't have gone there? Tochuku, we're getting married in a few months' time. What are you trying to say? That I don't have a say in this house? Is that what you're trying to say? That's not what I'm trying to say. But it's my fight. You should allow me to handle this. Going there is just you playing into our games. Right? Look, you don't have the right to do anything. I don't any have the right to what, Tochiko? I don't have the right to do what? That's not what I'm trying to say. Jingwei, that's not what I'm trying to say. Don't you understand me? Jingwei, please. Jingwei. Jingwei, please. Just let me be, please. Come on now, don't be like this, babe. Look, I didn't mean any of that. I honestly didn't mean to hurt you. Please believe me. But I meant what I said, okay? You have to handle this issue from now on. I really can't cope. Jimmy, come on, please. You know I can't do this without you. I need you. <sighs> Dora is still a child. And that's why she's manipulating her. And you know Dora needs you. We both need you. So please. I honestly didn't mean to hurt you. I promise. Okay? Bye. 
Okay, babe. Okay. Dad, I invited mom for dinner. Oh. We are going to prepare for you fresh fish pepper soup. Yes. Your favorite. That's not my favorite. Dora, why did you tell me about this first? It's mom. I figured you won't be angry about it. Well, I am not. And you've changed. You seem to go against me now. Dad, please. Let's just eat together. Can't you forgive mom? Can't we forget about the past and move on? I think it's time that you leave. You're not welcome here. You're not welcome into my home or into my life. Dad! It's okay. I didn't think it was going to be easy. Uh, you can do it later, maybe some other time. Take your things and leave my house immediately. Tochuko, you're so mean and inconsiderate. All our daughter wants is just for us to be family again, and this is. Love. That's not fair. We are not a family. Now you take your things and leave my house this instant. It's okay. <sighs> now you listen here, young lady. I've had enough of you. I know that you've been hurting because of your mom. And because I had a hand in this, but I've had enough. Now go upstairs to your room and don't come down until dinner is served. No, I won't do that. Enough. Look, don't force my hand. I said, go upstairs and stay there until dinner is served. And you look here. I've only tolerated you because of the friendship you have with my daughter. But now I have a message for your mother. Tell her not to step her foot in this house again or I'll be tired of playing Mr. Nice Guy. Okay, sir. Babe, don't you think that was a little bit too harsh? I mean, what has gotten into her? I didn't raise her like this. I am not the enemy here. I know. She was only lashing out because she's angry. I mean, Esther is the person we're fighting here, not our sweet Dora. Don't forget that, okay? Hmm? It's okay, baby. She's gone. Right? She's calm down. The audacity. It's okay. Why is he being so selfish? Can't you just say I want my mom? Please, don't talk about your father like that, okay? But he wasn't like this before. He was nice. Can't you just see I want my mother? Okay, look. I'm sure your dad is not a bad person. Maybe he just doesn't know what to do. My mother is not a bad person either. She's nice. She loves me. Right? She loves me. Uh, look, just be with your father, okay? I'm sure he's trying his best to stay sane. No. 
I hate him. No, don't talk like that. I hate him so much. <sighs> Look, you have no idea how lucky you are. I wish I had a father like that in my life. That's exactly what I'm saying. That's why I want us to become a family. So I won't be alone. You know, you're going back there hasn't yielded any fruit for me. I thought by now I'll be in that family. Um, can I ask you a question? Sure. Well, it's just that since I've been spending time with them, They've been really good to me. And from what Dora told me, they used to be a happy family. What are you insinuating? Well, I was thinking, why don't we just, we just leave them alone? You're very stupid! You are a stupid. You're very stupid. Tell me, what is it that you saw in that house that made you forget your, your main goal in that house? Answer me! Mom, 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 mom. They, they're really nice. Maybe if you just explain your money problem to them. Shut up! I said you shut up, you ungrateful child. Look at you. Oh, no wonder your mother left you. You know why? Because you're useless. You want to die because you're useless. Yes! And look at me, I'm playing the mother role in your life. And what do I get from you? Nothing! I feed you, I clothe you, I even took you to the best school. And what do I get for you? Just, just a little thing I want you to do for me. Just little to me! You can't even do it! You're telling me bullshit! You know, if you had done what I asked you to do, I would be in the house right now. And taking everything that belongs to me. But no! You are here, being just. You know what? Get out! Get out! Silly! Look at you! Nonsense! What kind of a child is this? You can't be my child! No! You can't! Rubbish! Outside. No, it's what's wrong? Why are you crying? Sorry. What? Babe? Babe? What's sorry for? Sorry. Why? 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 I'm not who I said I am. I'll register you in the same school as my daughter. Yes. Now you have to listen and listen very careful. You'll have to get very close to her. So that she can trust you. You have to make her your best friend. Yes. More like your sister. And then you'll have to introduce her to me as your mother. And then I'll find a way to get into that family again. Will, will he agree to marry you again?
Why don't you leave that to me? Why you do your part of being a good friend and a sister? Can't you just ask them for money? No. I do not want peanuts. You know, I'm happy that I saw her and her father in school. That she won the science competition. If not, I would have known that he has made it in life. So, my dear, there's more. I'm not understanding what you're saying. <laughs> so what you're trying to say now is that we are not related. <sighs> she was friends with my real mom. She took me in after my mom passed away. I had no one. And I didn't know who my father was. <laughs> I've been living with her since I was six years old and then she raised me up as her own daughter. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> she said she loved me. <laughs> she said she was my mother. <laughs> She lied to me, everything was a lie. <laughs> I knew she was evil, but I didn't think it was up to this extent. And you, I shouldn't have let you back into this house. Is that all? What do you mean, is that all? Did you just hear everything she said? The both of you should be locked in jail. Babe, let's just all calm down, okay? Let's hear what she has to say. Misha, why are you telling us this? I begged her. I begged her to stop. I told her, I told her I couldn't do this anymore. But instead she yelled at me and asked me to out of the house. You will be nice to me, I'm sorry. Dora, Dora, Dora. So what are we going to do now? I'm going to make that mad woman pay. That's exactly what I'm going to do. Babe, there's no evidence. We cannot arrest her. She'll walk away. I hate this. I know. What about the girl? I mean, aside your ex-wife's influence on her, she's a good kid. And she couldn't hurt you, meaning she has loved you and Dora as a family. What about Dora? What about my daughter here? Babe, Dora is a good kid. She's only angry at her mother. Because of the betrayal, that's all. I think with time she'll forgive Michelle. So what do you suggest we do? I mean, we can't leave her running on the streets. She's still a minor. And we can't send her back to your ex-wife. That's basically destroying her life. I mean, she's so mean. How could she use her to do her evil deeds? And she calls herself a mother. So irritated. Doing that to a helpless child like Michelle. We, we, just, we just need to know what to do. How about we send her to a boarding school? Or bring her to come live with us here? Or tell the police everything? Because as a woman, I won't sit down here and allow this injustice to take place. I won't be. Look, I don't know. Just keep her away from my daughter. I do. That's all I ask. I know, babe. It's okay. Just calm down, okay? Hmm? 
Let's just try to figure this whole thing out. Let's just let's just take it one step at a time, okay, babe? Hmm? It's okay. Stupid. Who told you you can enter my room? Dora, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I deceived you. I'm sorry. Aren't you tired of crying to me? You lied. Everything about you. So just a scheme of yours. No. I was happy that I had a sister. For a little while. The first time that I had one. That part was not a lie. I really enjoyed your company. I'm sorry. <laughs> You lied for so long. I told you everything about my family. And everything was just a plan. Oh. <laughs> it's not me. <laughs> my mother made me do it. <laughs> she made me do it. I'm not a bad person. I'm not. <laughs> I'm not a bad person. <laughs> she was the one that raised me after my real mother died. And I felt like I would die a lot. I'm so sorry, please. I know how to cheer me things I can forgive you. But to be honest with you, I will never forgive you. So get out of my room. Leave! <laughs> What are you doing here? What are you doing here? Where are my daughters? Cut the crap, Esther. We both know that Michelle is not yours. What are you saying? She told me everything of how you plan to come into my home. Hmm? You know, fine. Why is she? Look, I've been thinking of what to do to you. And do you know what I'm going to do? You would never set your eyes on those girls again. <laughs> Before you ruin their lives with your selfish ambition. You have no right to take my child away from me. You have no right. So you want to try and fight me, right? If you do, I will lock you up in a cell that you will not see the sunlight anymore. You can't do that. You know why? I embraced her. And when her mother died, I did everything for her. So you can't take my child away from me. I can and I will. Michelle doesn't want to have anything to do with you anymore. No. And Dora lie. sends her message. No, it's a lie. That she never ever wants to see That's you. That's not true. Or set her eyes on you. You lie. Listen to me. I deserve to be compensated, okay? I was there with you when you had plenty. I, I, I didn't have to for you, you bastard. You can't do that to me. You can't take my child away from me. That's not so true. She's my child. She's my child. I'm my mother. No. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. Please, it wasn't intentional. Hey. Food 
is your door. Come help me prepare the table, okay? Dora! Dora! Miss you at lunch. You seem to be locking yourself in here nowadays. Is anything the problem? Yes, baby girl. You missed your smile. You know, I made you the first to get your favorite, and you missed it. Dad. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry for not trusting you. I'm sorry for not believing you. I'm extremely sorry for disobeying you. Hey, sweetie, it's okay. I know that you are hurting. And I know that you are yearning for your mom's love. And lying to you about the situation also didn't make it better for you. I understand this and I'm sorry. I wish I should have told you all along. Or maybe I should just go ahead and tell you the truth. I was in love with your mom. You were very young at that time. She started exhibiting some weird characteristics and she left. She ran away with another man. I begged and pleaded with her to stay. Even went on my knees. But she didn't stay with us because we're not rich. I didn't know how to tell you that your mom didn't love you enough to stay. She didn't love me enough either. I couldn't tell you this because I wanted to protect you. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry for not believing you. It's okay. I don't blame you, okay? At least we've all learned our lessons now. Oh, yeah. I love Sorry. I'm sorry for being rude to you. It's okay, darling. I don't blame you for anything. There's no need to apologize, okay? I'm just glad that everything is over cool now. Hmm? So come here. Mm -hmm. I don't feel like it. So. <laughs> Group hug. Group hug. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You said some general fries. Yes, you know I'll keep some. Wait, 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 wait. So. What about Michelle? Uh, I'm going to forgive her. Yeah, I think you should. I mean, she was really sorry after everything happened and how she had a hand in manipulating us. But if it wasn't for her, we wouldn't have known your mom's plans. I forgive her, Barbara. Are you sure? <laughs> That's my girl. <laughs> Wait, I understand why I did this for her. She raised you. Yeah, but I should have done the right thing from the start. <sighs> yeah. So no more lying to me, right? No more lies, <laughs> I promise. So, what do you think about being my real sister? Huh? What? Oh, Jesus. 
Okay, so I convinced that to legally adopt you. We're going to become sisters now. We're going to go to school together. And most importantly, I'm not going to let her see you. You care so much about me. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Look, you're not a bad person. She just had a bad influence on you. Yeah. Thank you so much, Dora. Thank you. Welcome. So I guess it's time to celebrate. Then. Aren't you going to come here? Come. <laughs> Group hug. Yeah, yeah. Wasn't it? 